All right, hey guys, it's Girl Madison. Um, today I'm filming my August favorites video. I don't have a ton of stuff, um, just because August was super crazy busy for work and all that, so I didn't have a lot of time to dedicate um, to my YouTube channel and all that. So, um, I'm gonna try and touch on not just makeup, but just products in general. Some of it is hair, face, um, makeup, different stuff like that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. So the first product I'm going to be showing you guys is hair. Um, my mom got these for me from Costco. Um, I only, I ran out of the conditioner so I don't have it with me because I love it so much. But it is the Orlando Pita Argan Gloss um, Shampoo and Conditioner. It has Moroccan um, Argan Oil in it. It leaves the hair glossy and revitalized, restores shine, helps smooth frizz and flyaways. Literally, I, obviously I have curly hair, so I have the hardest time um, with my hair being frizzy and dry, especially living in Arizona. Um, in Houston, my hair was always great, um, but Arizona, I have a lot of issues with my hair. So, this helped so much, and I always, I never really noticed, like, the smell of shampoos or conditioners staying in my hair. Um, this the smell stays in your hair all day long and it smells so good like I'll find myself during the day at work just like smelling my hair and people are like what is she doing and I'm like oh sorry my my hair just smells so good and it's smooth it's soft it's not crunchy and dry like it usually is um and a lot of times I feel like argan oil shampoos and conditioners smell really bad but this just smells so so good Ugh. Um, so I will link that down below for you. Um, I don't know if it comes in two pack or not, but I will link that down below. And if you have curly, crazy frizzy hair or dry hair like mine, use this because it is beautiful. All right, so there is that. Um, next thing is going to be face. Um, I struggled with acne really, really badly my junior and senior year of high school. Um, now I wouldn't say I have acne, I just get breakouts and I have red, uh, splotchy skin. And... <laughs> Go ahead, let it out. <coughs> let it out, boo. You do you. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> um, so, like I said, I have red, splotchy skin. Um, but I do have breakouts occasionally and I do have acne scarring, unfortunately. But I got this in an Ipsy package and it has just cleared my skin up immensely. Like it's taken away redness. I don't break out as much as I used to. Um, and it is the 28 Remedy Acne Pore Deep Cleanser by Knots. Um, and so far I know you can order it on Amazon or through um, www.knots.co.kr. Um, and that is their own company. I think it's a Chinese company. I'm not exactly sure, but I love it. It is, I don't know how, but it just deep cleanse so well. And I feel like it works like an exfoliator, but there's no microbeads or anything like that. And it's just amazing. Um, so I am like almost out of it. They just gave me a little PR um, small sample, but I love it so much and I use it every time I'm in the shower that's where I leave it so 28 remedy acne pore deep cleanser it's amazing um the next thing is um the sensitive skin experts cleansing micell micellar water um it's by simple my mom actually bought me the makeup wipes for this um and then picked this up for me too I use the makeup wipes day or night when I'm taking off my makeup and then I'll use this in the morning with just a cotton pad just to refresh my skin and I love it. Like I said, I do have occasional breakouts and red skin but my skin is very sensitive. Um, shout out to my mama for that one. <laughs> but um, it doesn't smell bad, it doesn't smell like chemicals, it is not harsh on my skin or anything like that and it makes it feel fresh and clean so I really love that. Um, and I ran out of the makeup wipes, so I need to go get more. But I will link both of those down below for you. This next one isn't, like, a personal product. It's a brush cleaner. Um, it's called It's Your Brush Love, and it's by It Cosmetics. Um, you can order it from 
them. I went to Ulta to get it and they did not have this one. So there's that. But I'm actually going to show you guys how well this works. It is like an oil based. Um, it has collagen, peptides, and vitamin A, C, and E. Um, and it just melts the makeup off your brush. So you can see my brush is kind of dirty. Um, and I'm just going to generously spritz it. And I get the sides and the top. And then I'll just take a paper towel and I'll just rub back and forth and swirl. And you guys can see like it just melts the makeup right off there. It's amazing. And it doesn't smell bad either. To me it kind of has a citrusy smell and that might be the vitamin C in it but I love it. I love it. It cleans my brushes. Um, it is portable. It's, it's awesome. So definitely would check that out if you are in the market for a new brush cleaner. So excited about that. Um, the next things are going to be makeup products. So I will start um, with kind of how I go from doing my makeup routine. So I'll start with like face and then um, powders, bronzer, stuff like that, and then lips, and then um, my setting spray. This right here, like I said before, red splotchy skin, um, green is supposed to counteract that. So I usually try and get concealers or primers um, or correcting creams that have green in them or green tint, green hues, anything like that. Um, I came across the NYX uh, CC cream. It's the color correcting cream. Um, and this is in the light green color. There is a darker one, but this is um, the zero one color. So I usually, it says it neutralizes the appearance of redness. I usually just take a pea size on these two fingers, kind of like that. Is it still recording? Okay. Kind of like that. Um, and then I'll just show you on the back of my hand. Um, it doesn't stay green. Everyone's like, oh, I don't want to use green products. It stays green. No, it actually, um, turns into a skin color hue, um, as it reduces that redness. So you can't even tell that I have anything green like that on my, on my skin. So that's super awesome. Um, the next thing is probably right now my ride or die foundation. Um, I'm hoping to try FX, um, acne foundation that is oil free because I have had a little bit of oily issues this past month, but this right now is my favorite. I use it as a concealer, as a primer, um, as a foundation and it's the color correcting Ulta foundation and primer stick. Um, it's literally a mess because I've used it so much and I'm almost out of it. Like that's as far as it goes and it. It was the size of this tube um, and it is in the color classic ivory so I will show you that it has um, the green in the middle that's part of the color correcting and then the classic ivory foundation is around the side of it and it just is so smooth so creamy like to me it's not oily at all um, and I'll just blend that in and it gives a full coverage to me um, and all that and it is super awesome so I will definitely buy that again along with that um, new foundation that I'll be getting hopefully um, the next thing is a highlighter honestly before this mm, past month and a half or so I really wasn't interested in highlighters um, but everyone was using them and I was like oh you know what they do kind of look glowy and they're pretty it's sparkly you know it could be my thing um, so I grabbed this just because I thought it was so pretty in the store. I got it from Ulta. It is the NYX Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. You get, um, four, five, six, seven colors in it. Those are the colors there. They are all super duper gorgeous. My favorite though this past month has been this white color right here. Um, and let me see if it's in the back. Um, it does not say their names, 
but I will swatch that for you. And I definitely use this generously. Like the other day, someone was like, dang girl, your highlighter is on point. And I was like, oh, you know what it is? It's NYX, my favorite brand ever. So you better try it. Here it is. Here's the picture. Send it to her. Um, let's see. So let's see if you can see that. It is just super duper, super duper pretty. Um, I am pretty fair skinned right now. So that just really brings out my coloring. Um, if you are a little bit more olive complexioned, I would use the pink one in the middle um, or this champagne color here. I also have tried the gold one and it looks super pretty and, I, and the lavender one. I really loved that one too. Um, so I will swatch the gold one next. It is right there. And then I'll do the lavender one right next to that. And I really, I think this palette was a pretty reasonably priced. I want to say it was like around $18. Um, but this lavender one to me is the most pigmented. Um, but it does have that purple hue to it, so I don't think you can use it as an everyday look. Um, but super, super pretty. I really loved those. Um, so those are my go-to highlighters right now. Um, let's see. Next, um, I got this palette as part of like a deal or something at Ulta. I want to say at the end of July. Um, so right before August hit. And I forget what it's called. It has a name. But anyways, it's an eyeshadow and then like face palette at the same time. Um, I use the eyeshadows occasionally, but honestly, like you can already tell that I have loved these four right here. I've hit pan on two of them. Um, my favorites though is this yellow powder right here. I use it to set my under eyes. I love it. And I tried to go to Ulta to see if they had it in just, just a pan color and I couldn't find it. And it doesn't say what it's called on the back. So, um, it just says it's a yellow highlighter and I'm so sad. And then this pink, let's see what they call it. Yeah. Pink highlighter. Super duper gorgeous. That was probably the first, that's the first highlighter I owned, um, at, before I got that NYX palette there. And I've loved it too. Um, I just feel like there's a lot of fallout and it's not super pigmented, but it is a pretty pinky shimmer. And then this contour color right here is my ride or die right now. It's the only one I've been using um, for the past month and a half or so, and I love it. And again, I went to Ulta, try and find it, could not find that color. So I'm kind of sad about that. Hopefully they come out with just those, um, but I don't know, yeah. Super, super awesome. I will swatch both of those for you. I will actually, I'll swatch all four for you. I'm going to do it on this hand. Um, so this right here is just that um, yellow highlighter. And then I will do the contour next to it so you can see how well they work together. So that's the yellow highlighter and the contour. And then I'm going to do this kind of pink mauvey blush. And honestly, these formulas are super silky, super smooth. I love them. I think they did pretty good with the quality on that. And then this is going to be that pink blush and the pink highlighter. So, and I think I got this. I either got it for really cheap because I had bought in a bunch of other stuff or I got it for free because I had bought a bunch of other stuff. But either way, it was worth the money. Because I also used some of those um, eyeshadows in them. Okay, two more things. Um, the next thing is going to be my Ride or Die lip color right now. Again, by NYX. They are, as of right now, my favorite lip product. They, To me, they have one of the best formulas. Their price point is super awesome. Everything about them, their colors, everything. Super, super awesome. I will love them till the end. So this is the NYX Lingerie. And I have said before in, in some of my videos, I think, um, the pinky nudes, 
browns are really not usually what I do. I stick to reds or like dark purples, different things like that. Um, but the girl at Ulta just convinced me to get this and this is their color Lace Detail. And I have worn it almost, almost every day. But it is just such a pretty pink nude. Like <laughs> the formula is so good on it. Every, everything. I just, ugh, to die for. Um, it doesn't dry out my lips too much. It's this color right here. I love, love, love it. And I really want to go get um, some more colors. Like Teddy is more of a brown color that I want to get um, and stuff like that. So super, super happy with how this came out. Um, and I will link that down below. Okay, last but not least is my Ride or Die setting spray. Again, by NYX. I will never apologize for loving NYX because, you know, someday I probably will hardly ever use NYX products, but they will always be my babies, my concrete, you know, what started the game. So it is the matte finish, um, Finny Matte Spray. And it's long lasting, it refreshes my skin. Um, in those areas that I have oil issues, it kind of helps um, dry those areas out, but not like yucky. I know sometimes when you do matte, it just kind of, your skin reacts to it and it makes it flaky and cracky. It's not like that at all. It's very refreshing. Um, it doesn't smell bad. I just, I love everything about it. And it is in a 2.03 fluid ounce bottle, so it is easy to travel. Um, and you can use it as a refreshing spray. You don't have to um, just use it as your setting spray. And again, it is by NYX. But alrighty. Um, so that is everything for, for the month of August. Um, I know we're already like halfway into September and I'm sorry. I have been behind. Like I said, last month was crazy, ridiculously busy. Um, so hopefully these next couple months slow down and I'll be getting more videos to you. Um, I have lots of great ideas and, um, I love the fans and followers that I already have right now. So, um, I just want to say thank you to all of you and that I love you guys. Bye.